how's it going? It's Lee here from Teach Me Audio. In this video, we'll be looking at what reverb is and some common reverb controls. So reverb, or reverberation, describes the pattern of echoes and reflections that occur when a sound is heard in a space. For example, in a concert hall, in a bathroom, or in the lounge. The subtle echoes and reflections help the brain to perceive the size and shape of an acoustic space. Every space has a different reverb characteristic. Some amount of reverb can be found in most modern day music recordings, especially within the dance genre. The reverb unit can be used in a mix to A, create space, B, a sense of stereo width, or C, a front to back perspective. Now there are a wide variety of reverb units ranging from the very simple with just a couple of controls to more advanced units which often even more parameters such as reflection density or pre-delay between the sound and the reverb that follows. Adding reverb tends to push a sound to the back of a mix making it seem more distant and behind the other instruments. So let's have a look at some common reverb controls. I'm using Caustic which is a mobile production app has quite a nice simple reverb unit built in. I've got a very simple setup so on channel 1 we have a kick drum, on channel 2 we have a snare and the snare has attached the reverb unit. I'll play back the loop. We should hear that there's no reverb within this pattern. Now if I turn the reverb unit on we can now hear the reverb effect. So let's have a look at the individual controls. First we have the room control. This adjusts the artificial room size giving a different tonal characteristic. So the more you turn it to the right, the bigger the room sound. Next to that we have the damp control which determines if the high frequency content is dampened. You can hear it rolling off those high frequencies within the reverb there. This can help free up mix room and also promotes a warmer sound. Below this we have a pre-delay control and this affects the sound and the reverb that follows. So at its lowest value, the reverb kicks in straight away. As we turn it up, there is a slight delay at when the reverb kicks in. Next to this, we have a stereo width control. It's quite nice to have that opened up, give a more professional mix sound. And finally, we have the wet control adjust the balance between the unprocessed audio signal and the delayed effect. So when it's on its lowest value the effect is essentially not, not being used and as we turn it up it starts adding that process signal in. So when it's at 100% on the right it's being 100% processed. So that's Reverb, hopefully you found this tutorial useful, if you did don't forget to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe for more audio production videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.